Hello, this is Ahab Dev. In this video, I will show you how to use the Pose Manager scene, included for free in all my poses packs, and my so-called tag system, a way to look for specific poses in case you have purchased many of them and implemented them already in your project. You can find the Pose Manager scene in the folder named Poses Manager, don't erase, before opening it. Remember that you must have already dragged all the necessary files inside the Resources folder of your project. For more information about this specific step, check my video named What Will You Find Inside a Pose Pack. Finally, and before starting reviewing all the functionalities of the tag system, don't forget to set the resolution of the game scene to 3000 by 1080. Now let's start by trying to make a simple search. In the left side of the screen, you can see two boxes a green one and a blue one, called Tag List 1 and Tag List 2 respectively. The buttons hold inside are a list of all the tags associated to the poses we have currently inside our project. By default, all my poses packs come with almost 30 demo poses, so no matter what, we will always count with a diverse enough group of tags to mess with. So let's choose a tag from the Tag List 1. In this case, I decided to look for those poses associated with the Arms Cross tag. Let's click its respective button. We could also write the name of the tag directly in the input field if we knew the exact name of the already existing tag we are looking for. Finally, we click on the individual search button. At this point, we will realize two new button appeared in the right side yellow box called Search Results. The name is self-explanatory. Those two buttons contain the names of the poses animation clips containing the tag we searched for. In this case, arms crossed. By default, we will see the selected pose applied to a red demo of Edder, which features a body with female traits. We can see the same pose applied to a body featuring male traits by clicking on the blue of Edder button at the upper left side. To go back to the red of Edder, we just have to hit red of Edder button again. Most of the times, when doing a search, we will find more than just one result. In these cases, after clicking at least once in one of the results, we can navigate faster through all of them using up and down arrows. By this time, you may have realized that we have three colored band in our scene with different written information that keeps changing every time that we make some action. The red upper band tells us the last action performed by us. It will also notify us when we try to do some not possible action. The gray band at the bottom tells us the name of the current pose animation clip applied to the demo of editor. Finally, the blue band over the gray one tells us the associated tags to the current viewed pose. Now, let's try to make a search for poses containing not one, but two specific tags at once. In order to do so, after choosing a tag in tag list one, we should also choose for a tag in the tag list two, or write the name of an already existing tag in the second input field. When done, we must click not the single search button, but the double search button, if done correctly, in the search results box will appear all the poses containing the tags we have looked for. While viewing a pose applied to the demo of Edder, we can substitute with or tag associated to it for a new one, but have in mind that all poses containing that same tag will also register this modification. In this case, and as an example, let's change the tag foam for a new tag called using foam. Once done, let's revert it. Notice that whatever modification we make, it's also reflected immediately in the tag list 1 and tag list 2. Although I put a couple of tags to all my poses and all my published pose packs, I invite you to, once you have acquired one of my poses packs, to personalize the tags in them in order for them to be more effective in your specific projects. It's important to notice that while doing a simple search, or a double one, if we write down the name of a non-existent tag, the red band will show as a message that such search is not possible. If the search was successful, and while viewing one selected result, we can make the camera rotate hitting the space key, hit it again to make the rotation to stop. Some specific poses interact with other poses to make a full picture of a specific situation. For example, friends hanging out together in cases where we make a search and we obtain as a result poses of that kind. While viewing them, the poses associated with that situation will appear inside the red box called Companions. At the same time, 
Auxiliary emitters will appear in the screen in order to help us to get a better grasp of the whole picture represented. Our current viewed pose will be always represented by the blue or red emitters in the screen. We can also add or remove tags from the current view pose using the corresponding input fields for doing so. Modifications like this are also immediately reflected in tag list 1 and tag list 2. Let's see how, for example, we add the tag chilling and then remove it from the current viewed pose. Finally, notice how in the gray band we have two input fields. We can use them to duplicate poses animation clip files, specifically the current viewed pose 1. This way, we can always work on poses having a specific character in mind without worrying that modifications on them can mess with other characters and their respective animations. In the left input field, we will write the path where to keep the new copied field. Such paths should be an already existent folder inside the assets folder itself. If not, when we click the clone animation button, we will receive an error in the console. In the right input field, we will write the desired name of the new copied file. When ready, we can just click the clone animation red button. If successful, we will receive a message in the console saying so. Here concludes this video. I hope that with it you can understand now how the tag system works and the advantages of it. Remember that it's included for free in all my published poses packs at the store. As a side note, let me say that I tried to make this into a Unity Editor tool instead of a scene that you have to open every time you want to use it. Sadly, there are some functions that for now, could not be represented if it's not inside a scene. Sorry for the inconveniences. Until the next one. Thank you.